Hi everyone, Cheryl here today with Kadoodle Bug Designs and today we're going to be working with the Cutie Kadoodles and this is the birthday cupcake elephant peeker. Isn't she super cute? And so I'm going to be showing you the eyes a little different and we're going to use markers only and then we're also going to use a marker for the white and I'll kind of give you um, some tips on other things you can do as well. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to set her aside and bring this one over. Maybe try to leave her right here. So the first thing that we're gonna lay down is the ears, and I've kind of prepped a lot of my pieces, and I'm just gonna show you the colors, and then I'll show you on one piece how I'm distressing. So, <coughs> sorry, for the um, all the gray and the light gray, I'm using Puma Stone, and I'm using a dauber. You can use the rounded dauber, a finger dauber, a flat dauber, whatever. These are the flatter daubers, and I do use these a lot in a lot of my videos. And I just received these that I purchased on Amazon, and I like that they're rounded, and I wanted to give those a try. And so I did purchase those. I got a ton of them. Um, um, and so basically what I'm doing is you'll get two of these and a lot of those little daubers. Um, I think it was like 50. I'm just, because it's rounded, I really like this. You can kind of hold your piece down and just do circular motion, but it's going to give you that nice outline and it's going to give you the shading. And... If you're new to my channel, um, I do always try to tell people to click on your screen and click the little box right down here in the right corner. It'll give you the full screen and that way it doesn't cut out anything at the bottom. I kind of could see everything I'm doing, so I'm trying to make sure that you guys will be able to uh see as well so that's how I did all the gray and even all the little light pieces for the paws okay so we have that done so the first thing we're laying down on here is going to be the ears and I'm just using the art glitter glue again I buy this off of Amazon I get the big bottle and then I got this with the pin that goes inside um, but I do like using this. You could use whatever glue that you like. And the little tool I'm using is called the Viker tool. I bought those again off of Amazon. Uh, it's just easier for me to get the stuff off of Amazon when I need it. You get a set of two of these and four little nibs and tweezers in a nice little case. Um, I do try to put links to help just in case um, in the more info area underneath the video. So if you're, you know, wanting a link or you could just search Viker. So it's like Viker and then ER, I think on it. Okay. And I think, I think that's pretty good. Okay. So on the pink for the ears and the cupcakes, I used Pretty in Pink from Stampin' Up! And I tried to prep all my pieces. Again, I'm just going to hold this down and kind of just come in. And I like that this is rounded. And then also, like on some of them, I've come up on the edge, like right here. And that way I can tilt it at an angle. So if I angle it, I can get just the edge real dark if I wanted but I really didn't want this one too too dark but okay so we're gonna go like that so the ears on this one are first now you could add the hat first if you want it underneath um I didn't I wanted the hat to kind of come over the ear and so on the hat I did distress with the bashful blue and that's stamping up. And you just kind of do the edge if you want. Get the little edge done. You're not really going to see a whole lot of this. So we'll get that done. I love piecing these together, putting them together. 
And I love doing the eyes. I have another one that's going to come out. Um, the little, uh, I think it's little koodles. And the eyes are quite different on that one. So I've been working on different lashes and trying to do it different. Okay, so the next thing is all the little dots here. So we just kind of want to get the little areas. Um, I did not distress these pieces. You can if you'd like. Um, I chose not to for the video. I almost didn't do a video on this one. But then I thought, oh, the eyes are different. Maybe I should. And then... Um, so I ended up having to cut out another one. So I'm just going to put these pieces wherever I should have. I should have had six of them. Oh, this one goes up in the corner. I can kind of tell. I may have lost one already. Oh, no, it's right there. They're so tiny. Okay, so this one kind of goes up because I could tell. But I guess it really didn't matter. Now let's leave it down. Probably need to add a little more glue. Okay. This one can go up here. Okay, some of these. All right. You kind of just clean up the glue. I didn't push that one down good enough. Oh, I'm going to add more. Hopefully I don't have it all over. Yeah, when I cut these out, I only, I cut three, and then I was like, oh, I should do a video after I put them all together. <laughs> okay, so we've got that done. So now that we have the hat and everything done, we can get the arms. So on the arms, I only do the outer top parts of those, and then I'm just going to bring them up, and I use the same... Thing, the Puma Stone on this. And then the body's going to go next. And the body, I do the same thing. I just do, try to just get the top part, if it's, if the body's covered. Um, and it is by the cupcake, you can see in that one. Do the use the tool to get the glue off so I'm not using my hand, otherwise, I end up having glue everywhere. Okay, so I've got the body now. I can do this big cupcake, and I did save the cupcake. Um, I'm using the fray burlap for the brown. This brown came in a kit, I believe it's the Earth Tones or American Crafts. I usually buy the the boxes of paper from them it's like i have an empty one right here because i keep them all on a shelf so like the earth tones comes in a big kind of a big box but you get all the different colors so it may not be the earth tones it's probably the neutrals um that this one came in i buy all the different colors um especially when they have the warehouse sale Okay, so we've got that part done, and then the top part I've got done, I did that one in the same color, pretty in pink. So I just put the glue on the back. So we're gonna add that cupcake and then the topper. I do have videos showing how you can do the cupcake icing different. If you'd like to see, I have some videos on that. I'm using different mediums and stuff. Pretty fun to just kind of play around and use some different things that we have in our stash that we typically don't use much, you know, as much. Okay, so I have the cupcake. Now I want to do the hands. I prepped one just to kind of help um, things go along a little quicker. Okay, so on this one, same thing. I used the pumice stone, 
And then I'm just going to add that bottom piece like so. Push down and then we can add this little center piece and the line goes to the bottom. She's super cute. And then push down and then we're going to come back over here and just get that. And then just push down. Okay. All right. So we have that all ready. And so now we're ready for the face. And this one goes along pretty quick. So we're going to get the face on. Now, if you're not sure where to put this face, um, you can kind of see this little area right here is going to be for the trunk. And I just line up this piece with the body. But you can check it with the piece that goes over and just make sure that's going to cover everything and it looks good. So I think this is going to be okay because the trunk should cover right there. Okay, so we've got that. So now we're going to do this part and the eyes. Now on the eyes I wanted to show you, we, we're not going to use Copics. I'm going to show you what I did. So there's, there's two things you could do with just markers and if you have a dauber. So I grabbed a new dauber, even though I've got now two of these, but because I wanted to show you, this one's inked up with the ink. This one's actually inked up with the pen and I'm gonna show you how it works right here. So you could come in if you wanted, you could come in on the edge with just a marker. I'm using Stampin' Up, these are not alcohol. I'm just going to be careful that I just get the edge because I want the edge real dark, right? And that kind of... But see how I've got ink coming on the my glass tray? Now, if you don't have a glass tray or one of the heat-safe mats, use the inside of the lid on whatever you have. Like, if you have, like, a Stampin' Up! tray and you have the lid, you can clean that out. You can do some ink marking with that. So basically what I did was I just put the ink right here and see on the dauber, you can just wipe, get it all wiped up, right? Try to get as much as you can and then just come in. And so that way, if you don't have um, let's say you don't have an ink pad or an ink color or you don't have Copics. Um, oh, you can use your markers, you know. You know, when I used to do just die cutting with just the dies and not on the Cricut, um, I used to cut all my pieces in white and I would color them all and use different things and different ways to color them and um, airbrushing and all that kind of stuff on the pieces. And so there's always things like if you don't have something, try to use what you have. That way you don't have to go buy um, something else. You know, I don't have a ton. I mean, a lot of some people have like a ton of ink pads. I really don't. I mean, I have um, the distressed inks and I have the Stampin' Up. Um, inks and I have a few of others but I'm not like I don't have like some people have like every color so we're just gonna get the eyes kind of placed down so kind of like so so I think that's where I want them and so these eyes are shaped a little different so I'm, I'm hoping right about there is gonna be okay and I'm thinking so I'm bringing them in close. You can leave them apart a little bit. I think on one I left them apart. I want them, I'm bringing these ones in. I'm, you know, it's really up to you. However you wanna do, um, you can do. You don't have to follow any rule or anything like that. Just kind of play around and see what works and what you like best. Uh, and so I think I kind of like that, right? Like so. So I'm going to push down. I'm going to push that down. And I could see the glue coming up right in here. 
want to just make sure there's no glue because once we start to do the lashes, we don't want glue right there. So I want to do these cheeks really quick because otherwise I may forget. So I'm just using one of the number five uh, brushes. I bought a set of 12 off of, again, Amazon. <laughs> And so, and they're just cheaper for me, you know. I had picked up a long time ago a, a few brushes from one of the stores, and I just figured uh, if I could get a set, and then if you want to soften that up, you can come in with some white. I'm using Stampin' Up chalks. There's a lot of chalks out there you could use if you've already got chalks, or if you don't and you're looking to purchase some, there's a lot of crafting chalks out there that you can use. Okay, so now back to the eyes. We want to come in and add the white. And so there's two ways you could do this. If you don't feel comfortable using the, the marker, when you're in Cricut and you're cutting the black eyes out, just hit that mat again and run it through again and cut it in some white. And that way you can offset the white a little bit. So that's one way. Or you could come in with this marker. This is the this is the Posca paint pen. Uh, it's a 0 0.7 millimeter. And, and I'm just bringing that up like so. So that's it. And then we can do the little. Okay. And then, of course, we want some dots here. And I think she gets one right there. All right. So we've got that part done. Now we can do her eyes. The eyes I'm using, the 005 Micron. And so I always start with the liner. I'm going to line up to about right here where the black is. And the same thing here. It's easier if you do this liner where you can get this pin. That's why I say you have to make sure you clean the glue up. Because otherwise you could ruin the tip of this pin. Okay, so we have that in. I want to add a little black chalk. And I'm just using a blending tool. Now, you could probably get the slanted ones off of Amazon. Or this one, I this was in my um, all my brushes. Um, before I even bought the brushes that I purchased. And so I'm not even sure where this one came from. But it is a shading brush. Now, there are slanted ones I do usually use, and I don't have one pulled out. Her eyelashes, I did a little different. I did a little curl on them, and I always start up at the top, and I just gently come up and out. So I'm not pushing down. So hopefully you could see that. And I'm just, I came down here and did longer, but you could always come back in and fill in if you feel like you want more. And then I want a little shorty there, so let's go shorty. And I'm doing just a tad of a curl on this. Um, usually I do like a huge curl on them and then again if you want to fill in just come back in and fill in and then if you need to tie them together I like when the eyelashes are okay so now I'm going to come in with a little dark blue chalk and I'm just going to work that up this is a dark blue, and then we could always come in with a light blue, kind of the color of her eyes. I like how the chalk just shades. Okay, and then wipe that and get a little pink. And a little pink up here, and then just blow that off. Someone had asked me what I use for an eraser so stampin up comes with erasers for the chalk to erase chalk this is just one of the erasers for crafting so if you needed to come in and erase matter of fact on one of them i did have way too much so i ended up erasing so we're done with that so now we can go ahead and get her little um 
trunk on. <laughs> I had to think for a minute. Okay, so we're going to just get this on. We're almost done here. So I think I want it right there. So now I'm trying to, I want to match up these little cupcake liners and make sure that my cupcakes will... I think they're going to be good right there. So I think that trunk is perfect. So I'm going to just add some glue to the back of these. And I'm going to slide that right like so. And we could just push it down a ton. It doesn't really have to be like way under. And then I just want to get the cupcake. Whoops. That's messy. And then we've got this one right here. And we'll get that one on. And then we'll just add our dots and we'll be done. And any highlighting. So the cupcakes. Okay. And I did not highlight these. And usually I did. I used Regal Rose when I did them. And so we could do this one right here. Oh, the Regal Rose. Okay, so Regal Rose is just stamping up. And we're not going to need to do that one, but I kind of wanted to do this one. So I just kind of hold it down. This is the Flat Dauber. I like these two. Um... You could buy these as well on Amazon. I just, when I bought the new ones that I bought, because these, this one's the bigger one, I could tell. So these are the Ranger ones. They start to fall apart. So when I did another purchase, I figured I'm just going to buy the cheaper ones. And that's pretty much what I did. Okay, so we've got that. And we can just kind of clean up that glue. A little bit okay and then we're just gonna add the two pieces up here and we've got this one let me get those pressed down I'm gonna put glitter on those so the glitter I'm using is from American crafts it's the Wow glitter and then I'm just gonna put some and this is the band on her hat. Okay. So on the top, I'm going to use the Wow. This is bubble gum. And so I used a few different, or two different glitters. So on this one, we'll just put some glue like so. And then this one, I think I can dip in here. I'm thinking. If you ever get glitter on the face or whatever, you can always um, take a little brush and brush it off. And I can tell I did not get enough right there. Okay. I'm just adding the art glitter glue. Usually this would be dry, but we're just going to do quickie here. And then I'm just sprinkling on that same glitter. Whoops. And then, like I said, you could always come in with the brush and get whatever off. And then for the cupcake, I used one of this light glitter. I don't know. It's, a, it's like a pearl pink. And for that, I did right here. And then we'll add our white. This one I should have put back in the little container. Let's see if I can wipe out that excess. Okay. So on this little cupcake, I'm just going to try to do these little glitters here were um i ended up getting or someone gave them to me i can't remember <laughs> i didn't buy these i have no idea even who these are by but you can just use whatever now if you need a brush to kind of just brush off the 
you can just kind of brush that off once it dries. Okay, so we're done with all that. Now we just need to do our white little highlight. So I usually just do some dots and a line, maybe some dots up here and then a line up. Typically we'll go up and then maybe here. I like to do the nose. You can kind of come down if you need to. You could do some little dots there um, on the hands. And then there, there, and we could do here. And then same with this one. I just did the little swoops and then a dot. And then the cupcake liner, you could just do like so. And I think we're done. Oh, we got the one there. Yep, so we are done. So I do hope you enjoyed my video today. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos, please follow. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good day.